Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to save Plotly or ggplotly graphs to local machine in Shiny. And to do this, we'll use a function called export function. And also, we'll be using a web shot package along with Shiny Plotly and ggplot packages. Here we have the app where the user can you choose JPEG, PNG, or PDF file formats to save the plot. We have got um, two select inputs here where user can, user can choose the column variables. It can be either X, Y, Z. The data is coming from uh, Excel spreadsheet, which is stored in working directory. And then we've got the graphs here. The first one is the Plotly scatter plot, plot and the second one is ggplotly scatter plot. ggplotly is nothing but we um, try to create plotly type graphs by converting ggplot to plotly graph. And I've got two buttons here. One, the first one is to save the plotly plot and the second one is to save the ggplotly plot. The idea is if I click on the save button, it should save the plot in the user selected file format into the working directory. Let me run this and show you. So if I click on save the plotly plot, what it does is in the working directory, it starts creating HTML file and then eventually this HTML file gets converted into the JPEG file or PNG file or PDF file. And so if I open this, you can see that this is our plotly plot. Let's go to our studio. Okay, here we have ui.r file. First, we'll start with loading the required packages. So we've got shiny, we've got ggplot2 um, because we will be uh, creating the ggplot. And then we've got plotly. Obviously, we are clear creating the plotly plots. Then we've got web shot. This is required for export function. Now, when you are uh, running this, it, you might get an error to install Phantom, just in case. If you get it, you might need to also install Phantom in the system. Okay, um, then I've got the fluid page, I've got the title panel, then I've got some uh, bullet points, which you see, uh, which you saw on the page. Then we've got radio buttons giving different file formats. We've got the select inputs coming in as a render UI and I'm displaying them using UI output. Then we've got two action buttons and then we are displaying the plotly plots using plotly output. The first one is having the output object name plot one, the second one. In server.r we are reading the data using read.csv the the csv file is in the working directory so if i do list dot files you can see that i've got this data.csv here then we have got the render ui this is nothing but we are having uh, our select input choices equals names data similarly we've got second select input where we have got selected value as y then we've got plotly plot we are creating plotly plot using this reactive function the reason we are doing is so that we can use this to render as well as use um, this reactive function for export purpose we're just checking if it takes time to load and if input dollar select one and select two, meaning if the select inputs uh, takes time to load and has null, then return null. Otherwise, plot the graph. And I'm returning this. The object is plot underscore p. Similarly, for ggplot, I've got another reactive object, plot underscore gg, same thing. If input dollar select one or input dollar select two is null, return 
nothing else create ggplot and then convert this ggplot to ggplotly so that it gets the features of plotly and then we are returning it next we are rendering the plots so we are using the render plotly function here and what we are saying is if is dot null plot underscore p just for any reason say for example it took time to load the data set and if plot underscore p is null then just return nothing else using plot underscore p reactive object render the plot similarly render the gg plotly plot then we have observed event the first one is for plotly and the second one is for gg plotly we are saying input dollar save a file name we are defining the file name how we want input dollar format the format is coming from the user selected format it can be either jpeg uh, png or pdf we are using export function here we are saying that use the plot we have created which is coming from the reactive object plot underscore p we have given the file path saying store it in our working directory using the file name given here similarly in this observe event we are checking for the event on the click of the second button and we are saying export what we need to export we are using the ggplotly which we created so it is coming from the reactive object plot underscore gg and we are giving the file path as working directory and the file name specified here 